Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com. In the current video lecture, I will explain you all about nervous system. In my previous video lecture, I had already discussed about the kidney machine. In the current video lecture, we will deal with neurology, the introduction to nervous system, as well as I will tell you about the functions of nervous system. So let's get started. Neurology is the study of nervous system and the receptor organs. Have you ever wondered why plants grow into sunshine? Children try to get pleasure and fun out of swinging. Buffaloes chew cud to help break tough food so as to digest it. When bright light is focused on our eyes or when we touch a hot object, we detect the change and respond to it with movement in order to protect ourselves. If we think a bit more about this, it becomes apparent that all this is movement in response to the environment and they are carefully controlled. Each kind of a change in environment evokes an appropriate movement in response. The ability to respond to stimuli is a fundamental characteristic of all organisms. All living organisms have a basic need to control their system. One of the most important requirements for controlling all the factors of the body is a system of rapid internal communication. The cells and organs of the body do not work independently. Their activities are coordinated, which means that they work together, carrying out their various functions at certain times and at certain rates, according to the need of the body. Coordination in mammals is achieved through two systems, each with its own particular role. The first one is nervous system that deals with the rapid and short-lasting responses whereas the second one is the endocrine system that brings about slower longer lasting responses nervous system consists of cells and tissues in multicellular animals it conveys the information between sensory cells and organs it controls and coordinates the different system of the body now the functions of nervous system are to control and coordinate various body activities both voluntary and involuntary. The second one is to regulate the internal environment of the body. The third one is to react to the environment through the sense organs. And the fourth one is it enables us to remember, to think and to reason out. All outside stimuli are perceived by the nervous system through the sense organs. So this was all about today's video lecture. Hope you all have understood the concept properly and enjoyed the video lecture. In my upcoming video lecture, I will explain you all about the structure of neuron and types of neuron. Till then, keep watching to the videos of edupediaworld.com. Have a wonderful day ahead.